Actually not brand new, it's second hand I guess, but um yeah, fun to go off a little tangents on. Not good for teaching with. Um see, distract just a distracting guitar. Uh, well today I decided that I wanted to do a video showing some of the fifties influence to Psychobilly. Um, or some of the things you can throw in. Now a lot of these things I'm doing here they're they're more for demonstrative purposes. I mean you can rip it off exactly how I played it if you like, but it's generally just showing well here's the chord here's the lick related etc so if it's not extremely musical forgive me um however that one sounded pretty cool so i'm going to show you exactly what i was doing so uh based on three chords a d or d7 okay uh and e and a so they're the three chords that we were using um so for the A though, I'm using my first finger and just pinching the second fret on the fourth string and the second fret on the third string. I hit the fifth string, let my palm slap the string. Uh, yeah, and then hit the next two. And if you've got the double bass, dun, 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 uh, dun, 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 that's going to sound really cool. Uh, so I want you to think of so this is this is A, but I want you to think of the F chord that you might might have learnt, hopefully you've learnt by this point, or you may know the bar chord major, you may know the E chord, they're all connected, everything's connected, so E, well we're going to be F if we put that across, but we don't need to worry about the whole bar chord right now, we're just going to worry about the simple version where we flatten these two strings, oh, first fret on the first two strings, second finger comes over the top, alright, and then third finger goes there, although we don't, don't really even need that at this point, it's just this, now that is F, and when we move up one, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So that's the chromatic order of those notes in case you didn't know them. What we're doing is we're going from the A and I'm sliding into this, this is A here, so I'm actually sliding into the top, what I would call the top end of an A chord. I'm picking on the fifth string, uh, fifth fret, sorry, on the third string, sliding into that note. First finger's taking care of this note and then what we're doing, then the third finger is playing the seventh fret on the second string. So watch this, this is a really cool lick. This is Scotty Moore. Scotty Moore was probably one of the first dudes to really pull this stuff out, playing with Elvis. So um, I've been learning some of this stuff lately for a band I'm playing in, it's really good fun. Now a lot of that stuff originally though, let's say, um, I mean a lot of that stuff was done with the thumb moving around but we don't need to we don't need to do that it doesn't have to be perfect I mean this is kind of the punky version so you just want to get it across so what I've been doing for a while let's say one two three four pick up on that it gives it a better accent and it just it's rhythmically better then up on this note the last note is this one, which I get by lifting this one off and holding that chord. So, 7th fret, 2nd string. And I like to pick all of those up because they're on the upbeat. Okay, so I'll move a little closer. Ooh, can we fit everything in there? The camera quality is not fantastic, so um, you'll have to just yeah go back and look at what I said there for what, what we're doing little bit by little bit. So I'm going to play that. Okay, so your option is you can use your pinky. All right. 
That's A7. That we would consider an A6 idea. A7 idea, so... Okay. Now, so your other two options are, and I'm going to go through these a little quicker, because I don't like my videos to go for too long, because I get bored, not really worried so much about you. Uh, then we, we go to the D or the D7. And now what we're doing here, you may be familiar with, with uh, the A7. Well, I'm, I'd imagine you, you may be. If not, take an A, basic A chord, third finger lifted off. All right, so we've got the second on the fourth string. Pinky's playing the second on the second string. Um, we take this shape and we move it way up to the seventh fret. So chromatically what happens when we do this, I'm going to swap this finger now, get rid of it, use my third. You'll see why. Because we're going to turn that into a bar chord. A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D. So you've got... Yeah, that this is the this is what we're basing that last last uh, the D chord on. So we're going from here. Think of that A7, but we don't even need this. So if we don't need the third finger, we can then use the third finger where we will use our where we would have used our pinky. So what we end up holding, flatten the fifth fret straight across on the fifth on the third, second, and first string. Drop the third finger onto the second string at the seventh fret. You may prefer to use your pinky, but use your third and make sure you're clearing the first string. It should sound like this. Okay, it should sound like that. So that's barred across, third finger's playing seventh on the second, and you want to hear that first string because then we do this. So we go. Most of the things we can do with this, we can go, we can go, get the pinky onto the seven on the first string. You might go, or there's, there's heaps of combinations you can do. You can, it's really cool to also add the pinky here like this and strike a couple of strings. Okay, so again, that's out of the D seven. But we're just taking that in, and we can hit the open fourth string in this scenario, just because we're in the right. We happen to be in the right key to do that. It's not always going to work, but in this scenario, it does. You know, key of A is excellent for stuff like that. So, good exercise. We might go. So you can add that pinky into different spots. Now, finally, for the E. So an E chord, play the third string open. You might pick that with an up. Slam that first finger down. Pick up on the first string. And this is really cool. Pick up on the... Place your third, your pinky on the third fret on the second string. Then lift it up. And play that open. So... That's the open first string, second string, and I'm playing the D with my pinky, and then I'm just playing that string again, open. So try this as an exercise, because there's no point playing for half an hour on one chord, then changing. Just give this a shot. country note there. Did you know that uh, Luther Perkins, Johnny Cash's guitarist, actually used a jazz master? Good story, huh? Okay, so I'm going to play that one more time. Go through the video, slow it down. Don't complain that I've gone too fast or something. It's all in there, nice and slow. So ha see if you can play along with this. <laughs> No 
not sure how you're going to play along with that last bit unless you deliberately make a mistake. But there you go. That's, um, you know, Scotty Moore style uh, get, guitar picking on uh, that you'll hear in Psychobilly songs. You hear, you know, everything from uh, some of the some of the early, like, the Guana Bat stuff and some of that European stuff. You'll hear it and, and even in, say, Horror Pops, for example, on their first album, which I actually, that was a good album. That was a really cool album. There's a bit of that stuff going on, you know, um, because they wanted to capture that 50s kind of vibe in there, which which is the, one of the things that really attracted me to the whole thing. So there you go. Um, you know, please share that with your friends and subscribe, and thanks for watching.